To many, the world is black and white. There's right and wrong, one or the other, my way or the highway. But life is far from binary. It's full of options and color. So why would you ever want to drive in grayscale? Standing out from traffic like a diamond in beach sand, this 2015 Audi S6 here is painted a sapphire-like hue called Seapang Blue Pearl. And at an extra $550, it is, in my humble opinion, worth every single penny. But this sports sedan is hardly defined by just its paint job. There is so much more beneath the surface. Yes, it's dressed with many of the latest features, things like LED lighting, xenon headlamps, and power folding side mirrors that are also heated and auto dimming, but that's not all. Underneath you get standard quattro all-wheel drive, adaptive air suspension, and quad exhaust tips that allude to this car's capability. And just like a professional gambler, the S6 plays its cards close to the vest. There aren't a lot of visual cues that tip its hand to the performance on tap. This car flies so low under the radar, it could scrape its underbelly on street signs. Now, enthusiasts will know exactly what it is, but the average motorist, well, they're not gonna have a clue what caliber of heat the S6 is packing. Concealed in its underhood holster is a four liter twin turbocharged V8. With a host of microchips and other technology, it puts out a stout 420 horses and 406 pound feet of peak torque. Those are impressive numbers, but this engine is so smooth, it feels like it runs on silk and whipped cream. There's no way a bunch of explosions take place inside. Mm -mm, it's not possible. Equally refined is the car's seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which can change gears faster than a brain synapse. Well, quicker than one of my languorous thoughts, anyway. All of this adds up to serious performance. Zero to 60 takes four and a half seconds, which is not bad for a car that weighs nearly 4,400 pounds, nor is the fuel consumption. It stickers at 17 miles per gallon city, 27 highway, and in mixed driving should average 20 MPG. Like other Audis, with the exception of the Q3 I evaluated a few weeks ago, but don't get me started on that, the S6's cabin here is a masterpiece of both quality and style, and I'm especially fond of three particular elements in here. First, the quilted leather that's on the seats. It's gorgeous and gives this car a sporty but luxurious appearance. Second, the optional laminated trim that's splashed across the dashboard and doors. It's made of black wood and very thin aluminum strips. Now this $900 extra brings to mind a very high-end pinstriped suit. It's very classy. And third, the navigation screen is a wonderful touch. The way it folds right into the dashboard is mesmerizing. But all is not perfect. Moving rearward, the back seat is a little short on both head and leg room. Sure, it's satisfactory for two adult passengers, but that's it. One other gripe has to do with connectivity. If you want to charge your phone, you've actually got to use a special jumper cable here with a proprietary connector on the end. What the f***, Audi? How about just offering a normal USB port like everybody else? But these minor sins can be forgiven once you start driving the S6. It is seriously fast, and its speed is kind of deceptive because of how refined it is. You know, the cabin remains pretty hushed, even though the car is rolling on snow tires, which tend to make a bit of noise. Also, the engine is ultra refined, super smooth, almost unbelievably so, and I can't even adequately describe to you just how buttery it feels. In fact, it makes me want to go out and get some, some broiled lobster tail and just dunk them in there. Mm and it revs with a willingness that's hard to believe. When you downshift, the tachometer needle jumps up so quickly, it practically seems like it's not even connected to the engine. I mean, how can rotating mass accelerate instantly like that? Overall, the S6 has that Audi feel, and what I mean by that is you immediately know it's an Audi from the second you start driving it. Heck, you know it's something special from the second you sit in it. 
the way the steering is super light at low speeds but gets heavier the faster you go, the firmness of its ride, the way its brakes respond, the familiarity of its MMI system. It's a cohesive package and one that you'll never confuse with a BMW or a Lexus, for instance. It feels like an Audi and nothing else. Base price for an S6 is about $72,000, including $925 for delivery. Now, the Prestige model I've been testing here checked out at $81,675. Extras that inflated that figure include 20-inch five-spoke wheels, the driver assistance package, which gets you adaptive cruise control and other goodies, plus that beautiful interior trim and special blue paint. Is it expensive? Well, sure, but is it worth it? Well, honestly, with everything you're getting, the price doesn't seem that unreasonable. 2015 Audi S6 is like seeing a rainbow after a storm. It's a ribbon of color against an otherwise all gray backdrop. And the way this car looks, feels, and performs are all first rate. And for these reasons and more, the S6 is a standout product in Audi's already outstanding lineup. The Audi Q3, here is a chart that show, plots its depressionness relative to other Audis, but the dependent axis would be up, but then it would be down on the other side because of, it is not a good car.